God of the sea and all who ply her waters, you made all things and called them good. Today we gather to celebrate a momentous occasion and to ask your blessings on the newly restored whaling ship Charles W. Morgan. For the hands of maritime ancestors that first built her, for the care and craftsmanship it took to restore her, and for the inspiration to sail her again, we give you thanks. Aye, Father, she no longer hunts whales as she used to. She's become more than this, a ship of knowledge, a training ship, a passage into our past. What she will teach us, we anxiously await. This much we know to the psalmist who said, some went down to the sea in ships, doing business on the mighty waters. We therefore know that ships were made to go to sea the kindest act we can offer her is to let the Charles W. Morgan get underway. Breathe life into her sails, O Lord. Open this new chapter in her history and ours. Bless the crew as they sail her once again. Grant them safety afloat as they go down to the sea and as they sail into ports where thousands will walk her decks and learn the lessons of a whaling ship. Amen. There was a time before our time, it will not come again, when the best ships filled were wooden ships, the men were iron men. From Mystic to Kennebunk, the Yankee hammers plied to build the clippers of the wave that were New England's pride. The flying cloud, the northern light, the sovereign of the seas, Lefty. there was salt music in the blood that thought of names like these. Sea Witch, Red Jacket, Golden Age, and Chariot of Fame. The whole world gaped to look at them before the steamship came. Their cargoes were of tea and gold, their bows of cutting blade, and on the bridge the skippers walked, lords of China trade. The skippers with good mustaches and the New England drawl, who knew Hong Kong and Marblehead and the Pole Star over all. Stately as churches, swift as gulls, they trod the oceans. Then no man had seen such ships before, and none will see again. Save just one, for there was yet another ship, albeit smaller, but no less noble. She was the bark, Charles W. Morgan, who once sailed the seas most global. Today she sails again for old known shores, once with stories of a different past. And she alone remains to sail this day, full of knowledge beneath her sails and masts. So be it. 